The Story of the Picky Mouse Once upon a time, in a certain place, there lived a mouse couple. The mouse and his wife have been together for a long time but have never had any children. Then, one day, they were finally lucky enough to give birth to a baby mouse. The mouse couple was so happy. They cherished and raised the little mouse girl. Years passed like that, and the mouse finally reached the age to get married. Mouse parents discussed and agreed with each other like this. It's time for our daughter to have a husband. What kind of son-in-law would be good? Our baby is so good. It would be such a waste for her to be the wife of someone who also belongs to the rat breed. Surely there must be something greater than us rats. We should choose such species as groomsmen. But who is the greatest? Dad Mouse wondered. Let's see. That's it. From heaven above, he illuminates the whole world. I think the sun god is the greatest. The mother mouse replied to the father mouse. If so, I will go with the sun god. Having finished speaking, the father mouse set out to see the sun god. Oh god of the sun! Oh god of the sun! We want to marry our lovely daughter to the greatest person on earth. God is the greatest person in this world. Are you willing to accept our daughter as your wife? Hearing that, the sun god replied, Oh, mouse daughter? I really want to, but the greatest person in this world is not me. There is someone greater than me. Who is that person? Father Mouse asked. It's Cloud. If clouds appear, no matter how bright we shine, they will be obscured. That's why Cloud is greater than us. Really? If so, I'll go ask the Cloud God. The Father Mouse went to the God of Clouds and said this, God of Clouds. God of Clouds. We want to marry our lovely daughter to the greatest person on earth. The greatest person in this world is the God of Clouds. Are you willing to accept our daughter as your wife? Hearing that, the Cloud God replied, Oh, a mouse daughter? I really want to, but the greatest person in this world is not me. There is someone greater than me. Who is that person, my lord? It's the wind. If the wind comes, we will be blown away. That's why the wind is greater than us. Oh, I see. If so, I'll go for a ride. The father mouse went to the wind god and said, Oh wind god. Oh god of wind. We want to marry our lovely daughter to the greatest person on earth. The greatest person in this world is the god of wind. Are you willing to accept our daughter as your wife? Hearing that, the wind god replied, Is that so? I really want to, but if Father Mouse wants to accept the greatest person in this world as his son-in-law, that person is not me. There is someone greater than me. God of wind, who is that person? It's the wall. If we encounter a wall, no matter how hard we try, we cannot get through it. That's why the wall is so much greater than us. The wind answered like that and the father mouse set off again to find the wall and said, Oh wall. Hey wall. We want to marry our lovely daughter to the greatest person on earth. The greatest person in this world is the wall. Will the wall accept our daughter as his wife? Hearing that, the wall thought for a while and then answered the mouse. The greatest person in this world is not me. There is someone greater than me. Who is it, the wall? It's a mouse. If mice gnaw on it, our wall will easily have holes in it. I can't win against rats. Hearing that, the father mouse returned. Home and said to the mother mouse. Hey, mother mouse. My son-in-law can only be a mouse. 
Because people say we mice are the greatest in this world, mother. Then, the mouse married a mouse. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.